Hey guys, it's Cherie and today I have a video for you regarding what I made so far this month of April. A couple of the things I actually made at the end of March, um, but the majority I've made in the past couple of weeks. I've been really busy with sewing, it's keeping me from going crazy um, and stressing too much. So in between cleaning, I am mostly sewing and playing with my kids and stuff. So. That's what I've been up to. Um, I don't talk a lot about my personal life, but my business that I have has been closed, so it gives me a lot of opportunity to sew right now. And so I've made a lot of things, more than I thought I would. <laughs> and there's also some things, I believe there are a couple of things that I said I was going to sew in my last video that I actually didn't sew because I ended up making other projects. So I still sewed something, just not what my initial plan was. What I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to hold up the pattern. I'll talk to you a little bit about how the project went, um, any recommendations I have for altering the pattern, and I'll insert pictures of me wearing those items. Oh, first things first, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. If you're a returning person, thank you for coming back. Please do hit subscribe if you are interested in my videos. I mostly do now sewing um, videos pattern reviews is new for me. I'm doing that as well as hauls and occasionally I do hair. Now when I first started my channel that's primarily what I did but I've been actually doing a lot of other things that I'm interested in on my channel so hopefully you're interested as well and if you are subscribe please and at the end of the video if you enjoyed it hit give me a thumbs up. All right so <clears throat> I am going to go through all of these patterns talk to you a little bit about how the experience was using them, um, recommendation for changes, if I will use them again. And I was sick in my last couple videos and now I'm recovering, but I still have allergies. And so if I clear my throat a lot, I am so sorry. I'll try not to do that, um, but it's still an issue. And so my voice might crack a bit. Anybody else suffering with allergies? I mean, this year it has really got me good. I mean, I thought I was dying. I thought I was really sick and I had several doctor appointments and the only thing at, towards the end that would help relieve my symptoms was allergy medicine and a ton of them. Allergy medicine and asthma medicine has pretty much kept me um, going these last couple of weeks. So if you are, have a cold that just won't go away and you've already tested for COVID and it was negative, try allergy medicine because it could be the cause for your symptoms. I mean, it is bad for me this season, worse than it's been in years. So there's that. Also, this is the first time that I've worn makeup since my last video. <laughs> so my um, foundation doesn't actually match anymore. So forgive me for that. And my hair is straight because I gave myself a haircut and I'm not good at cutting my hair when it's curly. So there's that. Enough about that. Let's get into this actual sewing. Now, I'm going to insert pictures and I want to tell you right now, first of all, I am not a model. I am a regular old lady, okay? <laughs> so I don't have that model stance and in a lot of the pictures, if my children weren't taking the pictures for me, my husband was taking the picture and my children were driving me crazy, like photobombing me or like um, riding their bike right behind me or in front of me right before he was taking pictures. So my face isn't extremely happy in most of these pictures, forgive me. Okay, I'll try to do better in the future, but I just kind of like, you know, hey, I'm, I just made this, I'm gonna put it on, take my picture real quick. And that's how we did all of those photos. And I really appreciate my husband for actually being willing to do that for me because I am not a person that takes pictures like that. You know, like occasionally I'll take a face selfie for Instagram or something like that, but like full body shots, I'm not the Instagram model person or anything like that, okay? So these are just really regular old pictures, and in a lot of them, my hair is a hot mess. So try not to focus on the hair and just look at the actual outfit, because I have had quarantine hair. <laughs> Time was a 100, okay? So forgive me. These pictures are rough, but look at the actual clothes, okay? <laughs> um, all right, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is this McCall, and this is M7967. 
there are four versions of the dress in this particular pattern this was a very enjoyable pattern to sew up I actually sewed along with one of Mimi G's tutorials on her YouTube channel and so if you're ever uh, feeling like you need a little assistance with a, some, a project that you're working on. Quite a few people have uploaded sew along videos that have been made really well and hers is one of them. And it's nice to watch it while you sew or watch it and then sew your project. So what I like to do is when I first buy a pattern, I will look and see if someone's done either a pattern review or a tutorial using that pattern before I get started and that's helpful for me. So that's what I did and it actually helped me to figure out these gathers. There's gathers in between the C version of this dress, which is what I made, only I added the B version sleeves and you'll see that in the video. Um, I believe for the photos for this one, my, video, my pictures are actually a side view and a back view. And the reason why is because for a lot of different fabrics, I felt self-conscious. Now, I am a busty woman. I'm comfortable in my body. But for some reason, when I look at pictures of myself, my breasts look way bigger than what they actually are. And so I shy away from either posting them or looking at them for too long. <laughs> so um, in reality, I know that that's what people see, but it doesn't mean that I want to um, showcase that. Anyways, my gathers came out beautifully. The dress was easy to make and it's really nice and I made it in a bright yellow like my sweatshirt here um, and I really enjoyed it I plan on making it in all the versions eventually um, and I made it out of a t-shirt jersey material now here's the thing that I don't necessarily like about sewing with t-shirt jersey is that it curls for one uh, and the other thing that I don't like is that my machine likes to eat it so I, even though I put a piece of paper um, on top of the fabric under the needle at the start and the finish of each uh, seam line or stitch line, sorry, it still kept trying to eat my material. So it made the process a little longer than it would have been. This should have been an easy, quick sew. It was definitely easy to cut out. Um, but because I kept having some technical difficulties with my machine, which is actually a good machine, especially for a beginner like myself, it's the, Sing the Singer Heavy Duty 4432 machine, and I've been enjoying it so much. Um, but as far as jersey knits and like t-shirt jersey fabric, I've been struggling. If you have any other tips besides slipping the paper underneath, um, let me know, I'd like to hear those. So anyways, great great project. I plan on making all these versions. I love it. And I also actually want to make this one in a shirt, not a dress, because on the pattern there's a shorter line so that you can make it a shirt. I think that will be super cute. Same with this. I really enjoyed making these sleeves. It was fun. All right. So the next thing that I made that I enjoyed is this Sewing Essentials, the Isla Dress and Top by Creative Bug. This is the dress version here. I don't know if you can see it, my ring light might be a little bit too bright. Um, here's the problem. I made a test version out of some scrap fabric left over from a previous project and I tested out making this shirt. A medium in this particular pattern, to me, as a busty woman, fits more like an extra small. And now when I go to stores and I put on a medium, it fits perfect, right? Especially if it's a stretchy material. But this particular pattern, it was so small I could barely get it on and then I couldn't breathe once it was on. So that, that's never a good feeling. So I actually made the dress in an extra large, which I've never purchased or sewn an extra large before in my life. So I did that and actually fit like a medium large. So if you are a subscriber to Creative Bug, and I believe they were doing a special promotion where they were offering it free for a month or something like that because of what's going on in our world right now, Check it out, they might have some type of special discount for their membership, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, don't quote me, I believe that I pay $4.99 a month, which I think is very reasonable considering the amount of knowledge and patterns that I'm able to get. Um, now, the, the medium large, it, it's a perfect fit for me, right? So if you're quite, if you are, so I generally am a size eight in women's clothing when I shop. If that's you, then you'll want to uh, so the extra large which will fit like a medium large. I love this t-shirt dress. It was easy to put together It looks great on I've worn it a couple of times and actually that's why I'm inserting pictures rather than 
you know, putting them on and twirling for you and stuff like that is because I've been wearing everything that I've made, which was my goal when I set up my um, sewing plans for the previous video, is that I wanted to make comfortable things that I would actually wear in the house, and I've been wearing this a lot. All right, so that's that one. Really good, really easy. Also used t-shirt jersey material, and my machine likes to eat it. All right, so the next pattern was a free pattern, and um, there's a young lady who... I love her videos. She always posts like 15 free patterns or um, 10 pattern free patterns for children. Like she always has headlines like that. If I can find her um, channel, I'll link it below so you can check her out. But she mentioned this t-shirt. This is a French Navy patterns t-shirt and it's called the, the Stallion t-shirt. I like this a lot. I actually used that very soft blue material I showed in my last video and you'll see it in the picture. It is not a t-shirt jersey. It is just a stretchy material that I really enjoy. I like the way the t-shirt came out. I think it's really comfortable. Um, my machine did not eat it because it's a heavier weight type of stretch material. Um, the only thing that I don't like about the t-shirt is how tight or um, how high up the neck is. Um, I don't know if I'm the only one that's like this, but a lot of times if the neckline is too high, like once it's touching right here, I feel like somebody's holding on to me and I just don't like that feeling. I like to have a little room. Like I like my collar to come to a right about here. Um, and, and also I have asthma and I have trouble breathing. So I like to have loose fitting clothes because if I am having an asthma attack, I, I do this a lot. I'll pull on my clothes. I try to get, you know, I don't know. It's a me thing, right? Um, but I don't like things too tight up here um, on my neck. But this is a lovely free pattern. It was easy to follow. The sizing was perfect. And I enjoyed making it. So this was my first attempt at a t-shirt. And I think it was a good one to start with. So again, if I can find her video, I'll link her video below. The next free pattern. <laughs> I love a free pattern that I got. Was also recommended by her in the same video. And it's the Peppermint Magazine um, pattern. They have lots of free patterns, guys. If you don't know about Peppermint Magazine, you should check them out. The only thing I don't like about free patterns or downloadable PDF patterns is that you have to actually spend one day. And it doesn't take a full day, but for me, I kind of like do, do my personal projects in um, batches, right? So one day I'll pattern piece. So I had to lay out all the papers, tape them together, trim the edges and all of that. Um, then the next day I traced them off of the printed pattern and then I cut my pat my actual fabric and then sewed. So it's quite a process. If you don't mind that process, um, take advantage of these free patterns, especially if you're a person that's not working right now and you have fabric but not a whole lot of money to go buy patterns right now. There's lots of free patterns out there. So I made this peplum top and um, what I want to say about this top is that the sizing was quite strange for me. I don't know where this pattern originated from or what the original size e equations were, but I had a hard time grading it um, myself. And it actually comes in so many sizes and they kind of overlap on the pattern. So tracing it was kind of challenging for me. Um, so some patterns will have a dotted dot, little dots, dot, 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 dots for one size. And then a the next size, it'll be dash, 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 dash. And then the next size will be dash, dot, dash, dot. So if you're not careful, some of those symboled lines will look similar and kind of bleed into each other and it's really easy if you're, like I said if you're not careful to accidentally um, combine sizes or uh, trace the wrong size and that happened to me the first time and it was huge and I was like okay this is not right so I had to erase the whole thing and start over also um, the size numbering it's not a size number it's a letter so you have to measure yourself in centimeters and then you have to look and see which letter corresponds. It was quite the project. Um, the other thing I didn't like is, you know, when I finally f figured out how to read it and pick a size, I made that size and it was way too big. So, I mean, it was a free pattern and I've seen other people make this pattern and it came out lovely, but for me it was very oversized. I think it's cute. I do wear it. 
but I have to wear it like a tight fitted, um, either a sports bra or a bralette or um, a tank underneath this peplum top because the underarm part will show because it's so big. Um, but it was fun to make and I did um, like that there are like the pattern on the shoulders you can switch it up to a different fabric or you can have like your ruffle and your shoulders the same fabric and the main front and back pieces can be a different pat uh, fabric so I, I thought that was kind of neat so that was that one um, the next thing that I made was the quick sew K2 I'm sorry K4259 I made this version <clears throat> in a fabric that looked almost identical to this fabric only it's a lavender purple and I did showcase that in my um, sewing plans video from last month and that the reason why I don't love this dress is for one with quick sew I find that if I go along with the size recommendation on the back of the package it always tells me to make a size that's way too big for me so I have to figure that out and it's really challenging because I'm taking their word for what the measurements is for my size and I'm making it but it's always coming out incredibly big and it seems to be um, consistent when I sew this particular brand's patterns so I always end up having to take it in. So I made this dress um, and it looked like it would be a super easy dress, but really there's a lot of pieces to this pattern. There are um, three front pieces um, and then two back pieces that connect to those front pieces, plus the neck band and armhole bands. So it's a lot of pieces. It's not a quick project. It's a very long dress. Um, which I love. It came out really nice and it's super comfortable and I added pockets and I've worn it a bunch. I actually slept in it once because I was too lazy to get out of my clothes. Quarantine life times 10, okay? And um, I like the way it came out, but it was definitely a lot of work, more than what I anticipated. And my machine, I don't know what type of material that is. It is a jersey material, it's very stretchy. Um, my ma machine wanted to eat it. It's heavy, so it, but it's, it's hard to explain. It's thin, so it's breathable, right? And in the pictures, you'll see that it's blowing because the it was so windy every day. I wanted my picture taken. <laughs> it was blowing outside, but so it's it's um, thin, so it it can blow in the wind. But the actual material, because it's so shrink uh, shrinky, stretchy, it feels heavy, right? So. Um, sewing was hard I had to like pull a chair next to my little portable sewing table and set the extra fabric on there so that it didn't hang so far off my table and stretch while I was sewing and so it was really challenging I did not enjoy that material sewing it but I am pleased with my final outcome and it's a, it's a lovely dress I enjoy it a lot um, but I'm just gonna have to practice more with jersey materials and knits and next time I might actually sew at my dining room table versus my tiny portable sewing table that I use most of the time um, when I sew materials like that that are super stretchy and a little bit heavier materials so it wasn't an easy material to work with and like I said the sizing was weird for me with this pattern but I love the final product and once I took it in about an inch on each side it's perfect so that's that the next quick sew same issue I made this dress it's so cute I actually, the color scheme is very similar um, to the fabric that I chose, but you know me, I'm all about my African prints and I'm really excited about all the colors that they have. Um, and so I used a dashiki material, but it is a stretch jersey. It is, I believe, a DTY um, fabric and I got it from Fabric Wholesale Direct. And so it's the softest material I've ever worn. It is so cozy, I never wanna take this off. It's a lovely dress. It was a lot of work, but it, it was worth it. It doesn't have as many pieces as the other quick suit. So, and this is quick sew K4, K4100. Um, it has pockets, although the material that I chose because of how buttery soft and stretchy it is, when I put my cell phone in it, it kind of pulls my dress down. It's a little bit too heavy. So if I do use the pockets, it's definitely gonna be for chapstick and an inhaler, nothing heavier than that. Um, and I made the strap, 
I actually made two straps because I wasn't sure if I wanted to do around the neck or if I wanted to do um, crisscross in the back. And then I didn't end up even putting the straps on there. My husband likes to dress without. But when I actually went to wear it, I found that I felt more secure with a uh, sports bra underneath that was the same color. And I just felt like it held the dress up more. Um, just having a strapless bra underneath, I felt like it was like I had to keep pulling it up under my underarms. Uh, and so what I did to try to fix that is I took the elastic in more on both the top band and the, the, this band here. There's two strips of elastic. And it hugged me more, but it's a thin, like, one-fourth inch elastic. So it didn't really matter so much. I mean, it looked nice because it was more fitted, but it still because of the the weight of the material i feel like it, it kind of pulls down some but when i have on the sports bra something about the two different materials touching each other just kind of grips and so it doesn't slide as much so i am probably going to add the straps i just haven't decided how i want to do the straps but i love the way my dress came out it's so comfortable oh my god it's the softest material i'm gonna buy that dty material from fabric wholesale direct from now on because it's a lovely texture um, my machine didn't eat it as much but of course it's it's stretchy so my machine did try to eat a little bit of it um, but it's so soft so comfortable you can't see through it if you stretch it you can still just see the fabric stretched you can't see through it and I love it um, another thing this the name of this brand it kind of throws me a bit because sometimes these patterns are not as quick <laughs> so I assumed when I first bought my quick and I know it's not spelled like the quick like speedy um the word quick but when I saw this brand I was like oh this must be one of those easy patterns I'm gonna jump right in and sew this up but these actually had a lot of steps and they probably do have more simple patterns um and these are probably a little bit more involved because I guess that's what my taste is. I seem to buy the patterns that cause the most work uh, lately. But anyway, um, it's not as quick as what you might think if you're like me. Uh, but the products themselves came out beautiful. The next one that I did is, and I talked about these pants in my last make video, Simplicity 8134. I'm obsessed with this pattern. Um, so what I found, same thing with the quick sew, uh, the sizing on the back for me does not work. Um, if I look at the measurements on here, it says that I should be a size 16, but if I make a size 16, it's way too big, so I end up having to make a size 12 to fit me. So I made these pants again in that soft blue material. I thought in my mind that I would do a two-piece outfit. I've been seeing all these cute like lounge outfits, like the sweater knit tops with the matching sweater knit pants. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cute, but I'm not spending $68. I'm going to make that myself for $20, okay? <laughs> and so I attempted that. And then when I looked at it, I was like, okay, that looks like hospital clothes. And I think it's just because of the, the type of t-shirt I picked um, to go with these pants. I'm going to go with that. I don't know what, what happened there, but I didn't like it together. And it reminded me so much of like hospital smocks or something like that, or just P PJs, right? And that's not what I'm going for. So I'm going to wear the pants with something else and the shirt with something else and not together. Um, but yeah, making a size 12 was the way to go for me. And these pants are just so easy to put together. So much fun. So soft. I actually made the shorts this time too. And the shorts, I had a, a little fail. These, this pattern does not come with pockets. Okay. But so I thought, oh, I'm just going to add pockets. No big deal. So when I made my shorts, I added my pockets and then I was so excited, thrilled about how they came out. And then when I put them on and I went to stick my hands in the pockets, I realized I did the pockets inside out. So you could see the back of the material in the pocket instead of it matching the outside material. Does that make sense? I'll insert a picture so you know what I'm talking about. They're still very cute. I still will wear them, but only in the house. Um, and honestly, I could destruct them and, and then do the pockets the right way. I just don't know that it's worth it. But it's a super easy pattern. I love all versions of this pant. I've made this version as well, and I love it. Um, so Simplicity 8134, and it says easy to sew on the top, and it really is super easy. Okay, next I made a red jumpsuit. 
This is Simplicity 8178. I will definitely make this jumpsuit again and again, but my first uh, attempt at this was not great, I'll admit. First of all, I used satin, the stretch satin that I bought months ago, and it's red and I love it. I think it's a little bit too much red and it's a little bit too shiny for me. Um, I think it would have been better if I had just kept it as a top of some sort. Um, so that's the one thing. Also, if you've never sewed with satin, it shreds. It's not easy to finish ends. I do not have a serger, so I've been doing zigzag stitch and then I also have a special foot for my sewing machine to help me finish the edges so that I can do a, top, uh, a finishing stitch and it looks cleaner, you know. But it just kept shredding. Um, I ended up having to use my pinking shears um, to finish ends on the inside of the garment. And I, I don't like that look. I think it's okay for certain things. but um, And I don't know how it will hold up when I wash my garment. But I couldn't do a zigzag stitch and I couldn't use my overlocking foot to make in nice finished ends um, on my satin. The other thing is... Again, with the simplicity pattern sizing, I made a size 14, and it was too big, way too big. And I made the see, I made this version here because I'm really into big, flowy uh, legs, and it just didn't do well for me. I think it looks like pajamas. I'm going to only wear it in the house more than likely, um, or maybe with a leather jacket and some heels and a good belt. I don't know. But I'll have to layer it if I'm going to wear it out. Just because I personally don't know that I like that much red, um, shiny material. And then it's a little oversized. So when I make this again, I'm definitely going to make it one or two sizes smaller. And rather than doing this wide leg version, I will do a straight leg version and I will not use satin. I also made satin pillowcases for the first time for my mother-in-law for her birthday. And I had the same issue with satin shredding. And that was not a stretch satin. That was a regular, um, what is it called, crate back satin? You know, when it's when it's um, like a flat um, matte material on the back when you touch it. But when you flip it over, it's shiny and soft. Anyway, um, same situation. The material just kind of shredded as I went along with my project. So I had to use pinking shears on that as well to finish the insides. So I don't know that I like sewing with satin. I also made a satin headband with my um, scraps and it actually came out super cute. Um, but yeah, I don't think that I like sewing with satin. Um, that might be one of the things that I just buy in stores, garments that are made and so rather than making myself. Um, I do think I might go give it another go just to make this cute pajama pattern that I have. Actually, I'll show you, but I'm also gonna do a separate video um, where did I put it? Oh, here we go. It's an old um, butterick pattern, but I love this two piece here. And so <clears throat> summer's coming, so I'll need some summer jammies. So um, I think I might try it with the remainder of my um, satin to do that, but I don't know. I don't know. Unless I figure out a way to sew it without it shredding like that, I may not. So this was a win as far as it being easy to sew. Um, but I would double check your measurements and do any um, size grading that you need to do before you cut your fabric before you or make it in a muslin I don't do that, but some people do um, I definitely found that it was way too big So this is but it's a great project and you'll see the pictures. It's not a bad project. My husband thinks it's really cute I just personally felt like it was too big and too much red um, next, I made my kids some pajama shorts. Initially, I wanted to make them those baseball pajama pants that I mentioned in the last video, but I thought it would be fun to make them these shorts, and they actually came out cute, like regular outdoor shorts, not just jammy shorts. And so I'll insert a picture of those. They really enjoy wearing them. And this pattern is just so great for kids. It didn't work out for me as a woman, um, but the kids items, they just are spot on. They fit perfectly shorts and pajama pants. So if you're looking for good pajama pants for kids, it's the Simplicity 1520. And again, this is another easy to sew and it really is super easy. So I got the Tilly and the Buttons Make It Simple book. And I really love this book. The actual patterns in here are so easy to follow. 
And so far I've made two things out of here. I've made pajamas and I've made a jumper, which is, I think they call it a dungaree. It's actually what's showed here on the front of the book. I made this in a cotton material that is linen-like and I love the way it came out. It's so comfortable to wear. I wear it just like she does with a t-shirt underneath and it's so cute. I think though I will size down in the future. I made myself a size 5, but in order to just have it a little bit more fitted in the top bodice part and just this top here, I think I might go down a size. Um, but for most of the items in this book, I am a size 5. So if you are generally a size 8, a size 5, like when you go shopping, a size 5 will probably fit you nicely. The other thing that I made out of this book was pajamas. It was my very first time making a two-piece pajama set. Um, and I made this out of that same African DTY material that I made my long dress out of. And this is it here. I love it so much. They're so comfortable. This was so easy to make. They're so cute. Um, now the picture that I insert for this, it doesn't go full length. Um, I'm sorry. Most of my pictures are a hot mess in this video and please forgive me for that. But my husband was either taking the picture for me or my kids were taking the picture. Um, or my husband was taking the kids and I was taking a picture and I was yelling at the kids to get out of the picture. So pi taking pictures at this house is really challenging. But um, yeah, so I inserted pictures of this and I really love the way these jammies came out. They're really hard to not want to wear every single day. That material is amazing. Fabric Wholesale Direct DTY fabric is the way to go. Um, I have several projects that I want to make out of this in the future. But yeah, so that's what I made from there. I have been so busy. I anticipate to continue to keep up the speed at which that I'm producing outfits for myself and things for other people as well. I've made over a hundred masks and I'll insert some pictures of those. I've donated lots to people in my community. I've also sold some, um, but over a hundred and it has been quite productive this month and I really hope that I can keep up this pro productivity in the coming weeks just to keep my mind busy and not so much focused on um, what's happening in our world right now or the fact that my business is closed. Um, so yeah, anyway, those are the things that I've made. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to share some of your sewing plans, please do make some comments below and let me know what you'll be up to or if you've tried some of these patterns and liked or didn't like. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on them. Uh, but stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside and I really hope to produce another video for you soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye. But, um, yeah, so I inserted pictures of this, and I really love the way these jammies came out. They're really hard to not want to wear every single day. That material is amazing. Fabric Wholesale Direct DTY fabric is the way to go. Um, I have several projects that I want to make out of this in the future. But, yeah, so that's what I made from there. I have been so busy. I anticipate to continue to keep up the speed at which that I'm producing outfits for myself and things for other people as well. I've made over a hundred masks and I'll insert some pictures of those. I've donated lots to people in my community. I've also sold some, um, but over a hundred and it has been quite productive this month and I really hope that I can keep up this pro productivity in the coming weeks just to keep my mind busy and not so much focused on um, what's happening in our world right now or the fact that my business is closed. Um, so yeah, anyway, those are the things that I've made. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to my channel. If you'd like to share some of your sewing plans, please do make some comments below and let me know what you'll be up to or if you've tried some of these patterns and liked or didn't like. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are on them. Uh, but stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside. And I really hope to produce another video for you soon. Have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye.